I'm Jordan Rosales for Cal TV Entertainment, and today I'm here with the writer and director of the new film Thoroughbreds, Corey Finley. Corey, thank you so much for joining me today, and congratulations on all the success of Thoroughbreds. Thank you for having me. It's no problem. So we're gonna get like really hard-hitting questions because good. I'm an investigative reporter. Good. Thoroughbreds has been compared to the cult 80s classic Heathers a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Heathers is an amazing, iconic, crazy cult movie, so yeah. I will gladly take the comparison. You once said that every work of art is political, whether the creator wants it to be or not. Mm -hmm. One, what do you think that means? And two, how is this piece in particular political to you? I think some people try to say, I'm not making a political uh, movie. I'm just making a movie to entertain or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think all movies have a political dimension. They're, they, they entertain, but they also say something. And if you're not thinking about what they're saying, then they're probably saying something you don't intend mm -hmm. them to say. Um, and so this movie is political for me in that it's about, um, it's, it's, I mean, sort of fundamentally about class, I think, about social class and about the way that, that privilege um, sort of traps the characters, but also uh, allows them to benefit from it. The characters of Lily and Amanda are very complex teenage girls. Mm -hmm. What was your writing process since you are not teenage or a girl? Did you yeah. like, listen to a lot of One Direction in preparation? <laughs> uh, I probably should have, uh, now that you say that, but I... One D for life. One D, one D for life. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, in general, my, my philosophy was just, you know, worry less about the ways in which those characters are different from me and, and focus on what I, uh, what parts their, their personality and their struggle I connect to. I've written so many bad female characters as a mm -hmm. young uh, male playwright uh, before I ever wrote movies and uh, it was sort of a challenge to myself just to write two kind of strong female yeah. leads that were not about their relationship to a man. Do you think you're more of a Lily or an Amanda? Oh, and that's why? A, that's a great question. I'm, I know, I'm, I'm really good at this. Yeah, no, I'm disappointed I haven't been asked that yet. This is a big moment oh, and, wow. and I haven't really thought of it. I will say they're both, there's a lot of me in both and in some ways like writing the movie was sort of you know, like a psychotherapy, like pitting mm -hmm. parts of myself against one another. I think there's probably more Amanda in me. Same. I think a little more. Yeah, you're more of an Amanda. Hashtag Team Amanda. Hashtag yeah. Team Amanda. I'd be a little scared of anyone that said they were Team Lily. I think this is probably the most important question that I have for you today. As a very successful screenwriter, writer, director, whose Netflix account do you use? Like, be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, it's my parents. It's Your parents, my parents still? Netflix account. Same. I know. I feel Why get very, your own? I feel like an infant for admitting this, but the whole family uses the parents account. Yeah, no, I, that's great of your parents. That's a real sign of their love for us. Thank you so much for joining me today, Corey. It's been super fun. Appreciate Everyone, it. Uh, I've been Jordan for Cal TV Entertainment. Make sure you go watch Thoroughbreds on March 9th in theaters. Are you a Heather's fan? Yeah, I mean, yeah. every teen movie is a fan, like, <laughs> but obviously Thoroughbreds, a hundred times better. Oh, oh, stop. Yeah.